Is there ever such a thrill like escaping into a really scary movie? What if it's based on real life events? While most horror films are the sole creations of the screenwriter, some of the most terrifying films ever made have some basis in reality. Today on Wicked Tales, we're going to be covering horror films based on frighteningly true and sometimes downright heartbreaking story. The Exorcism of Emily Rose was released in 2005 and terrified audiences everywhere as an eerily realistic tale of possession and exorcism. However, the real tale that inspired the film is much more heartbreaking than the film lets on. In 1975, Annalise Michelle underwent exorcism rites and died a year later due to malnourishment and dehydration. At the age of 16, Michelle was diagnosed with temporal lobe epilepsy, determined to be depressed, and eventually entered into a psychiatric hospital. When she turned 20, she had become adverse to religious iconography and began to hear voices. Her family became convinced she was possessed by demons. Her family begged and pleaded with a Catholic priest for an exorcism. After receiving permission from a local bishop, two priests secretively performed exorcisms on her for 10 months. After Annalise's death, the two priests were found guilty of negligent homicide and were sentenced to six months in jail leaving only a tragedy in its wake. Our next story is about the Amityville Horror. The haunted house chiller, the Amityville Horror, scared movie-going audiences in 1979 with those two iconic words, get out. But this memorable movie has a basis in real life tragedy. While there was a family that moved into the house in 1975, in this case, George and Kathy Lutz, who left after being tormented for 28 days by paranormal entities, which is what the first film and novel covers. The truly real horror was committed by a young man named Ronald DeFeo Jr., who shot and killed six of his family members. This part of the story was portrayed in the sequel, Amityville 2, The Possession. Everybody remember Freddy Krueger? The boogeyman of your nightmares, creating a tapestry of terror for sleeping teenagers everywhere. It's safe to say that we've all been victims in our own ways of the wicked nightmares he weaves. Firstly, Wes Craven modeled the ghoulish Krueger after a decrepit vagrant that menaced Craven and his brother while they were home alone one night. Secondly, there were several stories in the Los Angeles Times about immigrant families from South Laos who died in their sleep. On such case, a 21-year-old boy who finally fell asleep after staying up for nearly a week died of unexplained causes after screaming and thrashing in his sleep. Now, there is medical evidence to corroborate what happened to that poor individual called sudden unexplained nocturnal death syndrome. Looks like Freddy doesn't need his claws to strike when we least expect it. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Wicked Tales, horror films that have some sort of true reality to them. Which one was your favorite? And do you know of some other films out there that have some sort of true inspiration behind them? Let us know in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching and please go follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And before you do that, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.